Yo, soccer fed guys. Okay, hear me out. I know that you're in a real hurry to install your new custom ROM, but one thing you have to keep in mind is that this video was made for the LG G7. So depending on what type of device you are using, the bootloader, the flash tools are gonna be different. So you gotta make sure you search on your side the best way to unlock your bootloader or download the recovery that will fit your device. And if you are a LG user, you gotta make sure that you're using the latest firmware like these um, on the screen to make sure that you don't have any call related related problems. But if you are using a ULM, VM, or PM, you can be, you can cross flash them to any um firmware you want so that you won't have any issues but the thing is i am using a awm30d firmware right now so i had a call problem i fixed it but i still have a problem with my um, hotspot so it's a custom rom it's not something that the oem released so i'm not responsible if anything were to happen to your device like like you missed a call you lost your job or your girlfriend or i don't know so, if you want to ask me any question, my Twitter or Instagram, I don't know, Instagram is there, so let's get started. Okay, the first step is to reload the phone in ADL mode. So to do that, you're going to hold the power and volume down button, and as soon as the screen turned off, um, smash the volume plus button. And then you're gonna need the fire hose. I think that if you've already unlocked your bootloader using my video or on XDA, you're gonna you already have the required files to do so. But if you don't have it, I will link this archive so that you can install it to have the fire hose to be able to modify the partition DL, the partition files on the um, G7. So make sure that the storage type is set on UFS and the build type on flat build. And then um, as you can see here, you gotta um, select the port if, if the partition manager is grayed out. And we're gonna have to flash the... Wait, it's gonna load. And now we're gonna search for the put A. And we, go, we are going to flash the OFOX 1.1.9 image on both boot um, partitions. And then, now what you're going to do next is exit EDL. Um, the boot manager, and the first thing you're going to need is to format the data. There you will type yes to confirm that you want to format those data, and then you continue. Go back. And next, we are going to sideload the rom zip file and then using using the adb the adb and fastboot minimal we are, we are going to use the code adb side load and then drag and drop the zip file It'll, it'll reboot by itself into the recovery. Copy the G apps on the internal storage as um, and then after that the magisk. 
and then first you are going to flash the G apps and then add to Q then select magisk and then flash them together format data again because if you don't do so the phone will try to reboot and it will stuck it will be stuck into a, a boot loop so Yeah, that's been it guys. Um, like if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.